Welcome back to Reverse Robbery. So. Eastern side of the nave. Why is the church facing south? Weird. I don't know, it just feels weird. So they are talking about the, the door to the crypt, right? Let me just check. This is the eastern side of the nave, yeah, and that's the door of the crypt there. We have no idea what's going on in that. Alright, wow, the over dramatic music, is it? I haven't checked the volume of it, but we're getting out of here in a second anyway. Why is everything gone weird out here on the streets as well? Didn't have. Might have to turn the ambient down again then. Okay. Wasn't there a soldier walking around here? Blue coat? There was. Alright, hang on. Let's, let's turn that ambient down. Oh, it was way up. That was middle before. This thing has changed all the volume settings on me. Okay, whatever. Yeah, let's go back to middle there. That was, that was full before. I don't know. Now this guy does have, I think, the kind of unknockoutable helmet, but the other one like this was knockoutable. However, this guy has a sword, so it might. I could be wrong as well. He might just have the ordinary helmet. He's just got the ordinary helmet anyway. Mm. All right. Not going to do the thing where I take them to the uh, lockup anymore, the jail cells. Just no point. Uh, you know, we're well into the sixth hour now. Sorry, we've had the six hours down. We're into the seventh hour of the mission. I have no more patience for actually playing in a fun way. I think I'm going to try and get the obstacles out of the way, get all the bits and pieces we need, and then. Oh, this is a big building, there isn't anything. And then, um, once we get to the vault, maybe we can then, then we can actually play again. Once we have all the gears. So I did look up, during the break, um, the four directors. The key information we need is in a book that we can't pick up and carry with us, which is unfortunate. Uh, an unfortunate bit of design. So we have Mr. Rupert Avery. He just runs Avery's warehouse. We know him. So I guess we can get into his office somehow. I just thought that needing a key and then being seeming no way in meant we couldn't. I guess that was wrong, we can. Uh, Father Vance Malus, whose gear we got, the priest of the Hammerites there. The other two, Lady Katrina Van Aston, who was mentioned in uh, Ramirez's book. I have no idea where she lives. I don't remember seeing anything about a Lady Katrina anywhere. And Mr. Edwin Smythe. Also a name I've not seen anywhere here. So. Do we have any other buildings around here? There's these two, but uh, they're not actual houses. They're just part of this, which I don't think it opens. And that's just the cemetery there. I don't know what's up there, if anything. Okay. So where are we going? I don't know. I guess I'm going to go scale the streets and look for... Guards I haven't yet knocked out, and let's just clean up. Ugh. 
Yeah, this is guarding a pretty big fancy place, but these are not doors. Oh, hang on. Was one of these? That's, that's Ever Smythe, I think. But it's not a door. It was totally a non door. Yeah, Edwin G. Smiles. Okay, so we've got to get in there somehow. Apparently. Maybe the window opens? I don't know. What was the sign on this one? This one doesn't have a sign. Right, it's just not a door. Not the door. It's a great way of convincing me that the place is is useful by having doors that aren't <coughs> ouch. Doors that aren't doors. <laughs> no, it's not a window that opens. Didn't look like it, but I I don't know, there's obviously a way in. Are we supposed to run along here, mantle onto the sign paper thin signboard and up here? In one of these? No. Not sure we're supposed to be up on this ledge, maybe we are. Because it does go around the building, doesn't it? So we're gonna find one of the windows open, like, on this side. Yeah. Okay, that we could not really see from anywhere. Unless we climbed into that yard and happened to look up and notice that this window looked a bit different. Got a front door, why isn't there a front door at least? At least make it clear that it's a place. Now, does he have guards? There's a light switch. Okay, that's not a door either, so there's nobody else in here. Cool. Oh, he's also got the moon. I mean, he's got traps. A life hmm. and death. This looks interesting. A life and death of Saint Stefan, okay. Saint Stephen of Cinderpool is one of the Hammerite Imperium's most controversial figures. He was a powerful hammer mage with the gift of prophecy and a love of puzzles and riddles. His critics whispered that his magical skills came from pagan texts. Due to these rumors, Stephen was arrested and put on trial. As the evidence mounted against him, the Procurator General assured Stephen that his execution was inevitable. Stephen coolly replied, Our deaths are both at hand, yet yours will find you the sooner. This was proved true, for in that hour the cathedral was attacked by a group of pagans led by a sorcerer. All Hammerites present were needed to meet the assault. The battle went poorly, for the pagans carried an evil artifact which allowed them to reanimate their dead to continue fighting. With Stefan's pagan, ma pagan magics, he killed the sorcerer, took up the artifact, and reanimated the Hammerite dead. Thus, the pagans were defeated. As predicted, both Stefan and the Procurator General died in the fighting. The undead hammers were shut away in the crypts, while the pagan artifact, now known as the Eye, was locked in the cathedral vault. Stefan's body was taken away by his acolytes. It is rumoured that the acolytes interred him in a secret tomb that had been built years beforehand. The Order declared him Saint Stefan the Redeemed for giving his life in battle to defeat the pagans. In later years, some historians referred to him as Stefan the Accursed for his defilement of Hammerite corpses with necromancy. A week before his death, Stefan wrote a scroll with three riddles that, according to legend, hold the key to opening his tomb. These riddles can be found on the following pages. Aha, so we're not going to learn about this in the bank vault, we are learning about it here. I would not have expected the office of a lawyer to be where we learn about the tomb that we have to rob as one of our objectives, but what do you, you know, there you go. Welcome to your trial by fire, don't provoke the dead one's ire. Be careful where your tread does fall, or you may never leave this hall. No need to spell out clever plans, the key is in the angel's hands. Okay, so far, so good. That's the same as the opening plaques. Patterns of darkness, patterns of light. Only one path safe, only one path right. In the beginning was void, dark without end, then came the bright sun and life did begin. Mankind gathered at shining fires to feast, and outside in the night lurks the terrible beast. Then came the builder with his blazing forge and cast out the trickster to his shadowy gorge. Color to color, follow the lights, and soon you will reach my tomb. But any poor sod whose timing is off will follow the lights to his doom. Okay, well, that will come in handy when we uh, go back there. Now we got to find where he keeps his gear. His metal gear. Yeah. 
mean, does he keep it hidden somewhere? Presumably. And there wasn't the switch on the desk, was there? It doesn't look like it. Hmm. We could rope up to the ceiling if we need to, but I don't see a reason to. Well, I could be here a while. I have no idea. Like, even the High Priestess one, I only found because I knew there had to be something because the, the book told me, right? Because it said, these guys got the gears. I thought the backstory, because it's like, well, the place has just been robbed. They obviously got in. But no, they still have their security on the front. <laughs> ah, here we are. Not super hidden. That's okay. Silver gear. Cool. I appreciate that it's not too hidden. Okay, that's that's my done then, I guess. Okay, where to now? Back down somehow. I guess we'll just go back the way we came. Try and jump across the street to that building. I don't think there's any point. Alright, let's put a save in. Keep looking for... Uh, we're gonna have to go back to the warehouse. Mr. Rupert Avery's warehouse. And then there's uh, Lady Katrina Van Aston's place. Guess we have to look for a place that's labelled that. Oh, this is the police station. We don't need to go back in there. Isn't there still... yes. And there's still an archer wandering around. Mmm, tasty rats. Who's there? Just me. You know what? You can be evidence of my lack of caring about fun ways of disposing of bodies now. Uh, or things like, you know, leaving the, leaving the key under there to say, hey, this is kind of... What am I hearing? Oh, the girl up there, okay. So that's just uh, leaving the key under there to kind of suggest that it was... Um, Accidentally dropped. Okay, whose house is that? I've got this guy. Still comes up and down. Actually, we should wait for him over here, right? We'll get him a bit sooner, and we don't have to hear the pub noise. So, maybe that was Lady Katrina's house? Didn't seem like a fancy house to me. Not that I recall, anyway. But we should check. She wasn't wasn't in the apartments. The apartments was uh, Morgan Chalmers, the security chief. We found their key. Strange. Yeah, but that helmet doesn't mean anything. It's unlike in Thief 2, where it means you can't KO this guard. Alright. It's easy to get back in there anyway. I'm 
No, I did knock out these guards, didn't I? <laughs> I think I did. That's right, I was blaming the robbery on like, that guy. No, so whose who's place was this? Uh, this is the archaeologists. So not Lady Katrina's. However, I can leave the door open for convenience now. Is that Lady Katrina's? That's not Chalmers, is it? The apartments? The balconies? Is this the apartments? Yeah, this might be the apartments here. Yeah. Right, this is the apartments. Let me just double check the nameplate as well. Yeah, Chalmers. Okay. Right, so where am I going then? This goes up to... That's the church. I'm going to head west, I think. We've got a guard, guard, couple of guards in there. We've got one guard wandering around that tower. Still a guard in these streets somewhere. There he is. Check the northern end up here. Oh, who's, who's place is that? Have I been there? Oh yeah, that's that's the uh, that's the archaeologists. Somebody's still around up here. Oh, this is the start. Right. Thought I saw something. Uh, nothing. Who'd be stupid enough to break in here? <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, nothing here. Nothing we need to worry about here. And that's the police station again. Okay, so if we head north and west, we can get back to the warehouse area, I guess. Not that way. Is it through here? Yeah, right, north from the market. So whose house was this? I don't think I've been in there, have I? Like, I went up there. And that was uh, Moncton's house, but I don't remember a front door. Otherwise, I'm sure I would have opened it. Let's check that out. This is easy enough to do. <laughs> Easy enough to do is as it slips off the ledge. <laughs> Ow. In my defense, I could barely see the ledge. <laughs> because I accidentally left a uh, light on in the room. Just fix that now. Let's see a little better. Yeah, this is Moncton. This is where the the uh, guy was running up and down for uh, I 
like this sheet music. Ramirez is dude, we see. making noise. Oh. There's more to this. Oh no, right, that's the apartment guards. Must have hit the uh, the lamp there. All right, you can just sleep in there. You'll be fine. I do appreciate the gas lamp, so I can turn off. So is this? Who's is this? Is this lady? What's her name? I mean, it could be. We don't know, right? How would we know? What's your nameplate? In case it is, we'll visit her with Blackjack. <sighs> she can sit on the card uh. table. All about to say T. Katrina Van Aston. I don't think this is who we're looking for. This is just somebody in the city. I don't see any readables or anything that would suggest that this is who we're looking for. And honestly, Lady Katrina Van Aston with a name like that and a position as she's the. Uh, President of the bank, she would have a more opulent house than this, I'm quite sure. Moncton is only, you know, an account agent. Here. Right, I did come here. I didn't notice these at the time. No, I did not come in here. No, I didn't come downstairs. I don't. This I remember this prop being somewhere else. I did not see it here. Okay. Whose house is this? There's the front door key that I didn't have. Anyone here? There's a window we could have climbed in. I see that. Oh, there's that loot that I saw on the window that I forgot to try and get. Not a door. This is a door. Okay, there's nobody at home. That's the good news. Anything else in the bathroom I missed? Doesn't look like it. There's a guard outside on the street. Scratched up paper that is just crop. Do you drop? Well, we don't have any mechanisms to defend against, so. Right, I remember trying to get. Ah! <laughs> I left my repair there, but didn't. I forgot to come back and try it again. Well. Let's finish robbing this place. Maybe that's it. Maybe maybe I no, maybe I did come in here. I don't know. No, I would have opened that chest. Hmm. Hmm. Tasty, but not so healthy. Back door key. You know what, we can leave it there. <sighs> All right, anything else in here? That's just go down to the apartment area. Okay. Well, let's try this way then. I 
Let's not give him an excuse to throw sharp pointy things at me. Sun's warehouse, right. Sleep down there. Alright, so we've got these two guys wandering around the outside. Oh, they're not going to be too much of a threat, although I guess I need to get down around there to get back in, don't I? Well, we're here now. We should uh, try and deal with the warehouse. All I need to do is get into the bank quietly, grab my stuff and get out, said Garrett. Sounds like a simple job, says Garrett. Famous last words. It's almost it's gonna be almost morning. Now that'll be a good thing to have in a thief mission. He says jokingly. Someone Um Is there a day night cycle where where if you take too long it becomes day? Uh it would not be a good thing to have in a thief mission. It would just be funny. It would not improve the gameplay in any way. All right, we'll wait for this one too. Let's just be thorough. No surprises anymore. Dum dum dum. Come on, mate, take your time. So maybe we need to climb up this side and we can get into the office. I don't know. Don't think we can get high enough. I can see the two crates stacked there that I didn't try climbing. I don't think they're what we need. Okay. We can kind of see into the basement a lot, but we can't do anything in here. Windows are much too small. I mean, you could almost get up to that. You brought a few crates. And you can get up this side. Did I open this? I thought I heard an angry guard there for a second, but I'm not sure. Once the leaves are broke there, we've got repairs to spare now. Yeah, we can't go onto the roof proper, see. Won't. It won't let me mantle that. Which is probably on purpose. It's like the invisible walls on the walls there to try to stop me getting over there, which. Well, you know how well that went. Alright, who's making the racket? Not me, officer. all these people on the heads and see if we can't find a way into the office. Damn it, 
timing is bad. Hey! What was that noise? All quiet now. Mother! I didn't notice he had a key before. That's the key to the door that we couldn't open. Uh, gotta stay on my toes anyway. Oh. And he's got a key, man. I must be blind if I can't see that I could pickpocket keys from both these guys. I guess I wasn't looking at them too closely. So does that open the door? No, this this door is locked to the code, right? Yeah. But that might open the back door that I couldn't get at. <coughs> so I got this one. This is the back door, right? Right, okay. Stay out of the way there. How do we get in here? Not there, that's the toilet. How do we get in here? Is this just this key? Maybe it's just this key. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. Hey there, boss. You told me I didn't need to concern myself with the basement storage room because we almost never move anything out of there. But tonight I saw someone going down there, all dressed in black. At first I ran after him thinking he was a thief. But I guess he knew the door code because he was able to get in and I couldn't follow. You hired me to make sure everything runs smooth around here. How can I do that if I can't even access parts of the building? You want to let me know what's going on down there? Basil Pinnock, warehouse supervisor. Well, you're not going to be warehouse supervisor for much longer. And we don't want you to seem too useful if uh, Benny's going to keep his job. Not Benny. Oh, okay, you don't even hire your gear. Okay, that was way easier than I thought. They just had a key. This one is no, is then all on me. I just didn't see the head keys. I could have I could have come here much sooner. Oh, it doesn't. Still nothing about the key though. What's the code for the basement? Well, he's asking about it, but he's not been told about it. Nothing here about the code, is there? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Well, nothing here about the code, just some loot. But, um... Do you know the code? Apparently not. Well, maybe the code is... in the bank vault? I feel increasingly unlikely. But we've got the gear. We've got what we needed. Um... So I guess we're done here for now, right? The three of the four gears. I have no idea where to look for the other one. You know what? Let's go out the front door. Are we sure they're going to say, like, oh yeah, you know, nothing, the supervisor's going to get fired because thieves broke in and stole everything? Knocked everybody out? Or is he going to get fired because of a little bag of illegal glowing mushroom shit? Wow, dramatic much door. I guess it doesn't get to open much. It's, it's fine. Let the door be dramatic if it wants to. Right, let's double check. Did I get everything from here? Yes. Right. Where the hell is this mysterious lady, Katrina Van Ben Ben Aston? That's Ramirez. Those don't have openable doors. We still have to knock this guard out, I think. Or well, maybe I did more already. Nope. <clears throat> we'll do them as they go back. I mean, maybe the bank president keeps the gear in the office of the bank? I haven't seen any sign of, uh... Oh, that's the, that's the dairy place, yeah, that's, that's our friend. 
dragon. I haven't seen any sign of a, that I can recall, of a house belonging to someone. What's a fancy name like that? Okay, let's clear up here. Yeah, the light is still there, but you know what? He can... I don't know, he might be here in time for me to knock him out. <laughs> still don't know how we're supposed to get up there. No sign of wood anywhere. You know what, let's go, let's get this guy. Okay, much cleaner. There's still... Well, there's a courtyard there, but that's next to the church, right? That's not... There's nobody's house here, is there? I mean, there might be. Doesn't feel like a fancy house, so... Oh, what's over there? Uh, looks like nothing. <clears throat> yeah, that's Lord What's His Face. Yeah, this isn't. The, the, I mean, that's a fancy house, but it's not the one we need. And there wasn't anything that I could see in the well. We went up there. That was that's uh, uh, Goethe's house. Fancy places here, but none of them are the fancy place we need. We just got a fire arrow out of there. I'm just wondering to see if there's anything else. Yeah, there's a moss. Well. Let's work on the assumption that the fourth gear is in the bank. Because if it's not, I have no clue where Lady What's Her Name lives. Um, no, this is the way to the bank. Yeah, let's get let's get the, let's get the crates and stack them up here. I don't I feel like we shouldn't be have to be stacking crates to get up there, but. I want to see what's up there. We've got the crates, we've got them at the warehouse, they're not desperately far away. We've got no guards in the way, so it's not, it's not going to be a difficult job getting there and back. Just need two more pops. Maybe just one more, even. If I put one on top of the other, that should be plenty. Right, here we are. 
Who's the guard I'm hearing? Oh, up there, he's just walking back and forth. Another fancy place, but not the one we need. Garrett, actually climb when you make noise like you're gonna climb. Quite you. No, it's not a bottle of good, the good stuff. It's the cheap stuff. <laughs> okay. Fine, it's just uh, an Easter egg if you get here, I guess. Just the basketball. Not actual loot. <laughs> One question solved. We can take it off the map. Crypt is not done yet. Four gears. Have we been in there? I don't remember. Avery, we've done. Secure storage code we don't know yet. Okay. Uh, we need to head west to the bank. Wait, are they going in and out of a door? Hang on, I thought there was nothing in there. My memory was telling me there was nothing there. My memory may have been lying to me, that's, that's certainly possible, but, um... Let's do some cleanup first. Make sure there's no nobody wandering around the square. Like this one that's just coming. There's two that are just coming. So there is one that has the unknockoutable helmet. Okay. Let's see if we can recover our mine without uh, seeing it off in our own face. Can we just pick it up? No. There we go. I ran to get more guards. You are so dead, pal. <laughs> well, it worked. Job done. I guess I couldn't find any more guards. Right, it's kind of a waste of the gas mine, I mean, honestly, but get rid of any... Okay, we'll come up here. That's weird, I couldn't climb it properly. Searching. I don't remember this guy going in and out of a... Maybe, oh, maybe it's just a guard room he went in and out of. 
That rings a fairy bell. Oh, that's right, there's a guard room with a fire pit in the middle. Yeah, so while I'm up here, I might as well knock him out anyway. Keep jacking business. floor to the bank. Looking at the building, but I haven't seen any upper floor. Right, we were on the upper f I didn't see any stairs. We were on what I thought was the upper floor. When we went in the side there. Huh. Okay, that's a little confusing to me. Oh! What? Okay, letters, huh? Damn it. Please mantle on things when I ask you to. Coming or going? Going. Well, we could maybe climb a statue and stuff to get up. Mm, no, maybe not. There's some metal beams. Well, this statue, maybe. Alright, well, we've got ten minutes. Here's where I turn the ambience down because it's a little too overwrought. Extremely distracting. Hey! I'm trying to listen for footsteps and things. Okay, do we know where the president's office is? Is there an upper floor? This is not a president's office. Guards downstairs as well. You know what? While the while the stuff is turned off, let's go deal with all the guards that we can while the camera's off. They will turn themselves back on again, but without the guards in the way, we can manage the cameras more easily. Oh, I never went that way. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I never went that way either. Did I really get that distracted?
I'm going to come this way. There we go. You we definitely don't want to be seen by the cameras. So you can wait in the bathroom. But I don't remember coming to this passageway. deal with you now. Because all of you are going to set the alarm off. So drop that there. wasn't my intention to kill anyone, but I only had the one gas mine, so let's take you to the bathroom as well. So, okay, so some of the guards with these big helmets, they are unknockoutable, and some of them aren't. So it's like... Or are there the three different kinds of helmets? I don't know, I'm confused. Either way, I hate them. The ones with unknockoutable. Lady Van Aston, bank president. I did come in here, didn't I? I turned the lights off. I definitely looked in here, but maybe it didn't look hard enough. That's like the secretary's desk. That's not going to have any secrets. Oh, there's a switch right there. No, I didn't come in here. Look at that. Okay, so... She does have the fourth gear. Okay. Alright, that's the last one. Now, onto the vault. So I thought I'd explored the ground floor of the bank thoroughly, but I guess I got distracted with all the other stuff. Is that a turret or is that a safe? A night safe? Oh, that's the poor colors. Well, we'll leave the door shut. I don't know how much of that 10 minutes we got left. Ooh. Ah. Thought they had the good wine, but no, it's all just fancy stuff for show. That's the side door with the camera staring right at it. Right. the lamp. All we're gonna does. Right, we have we have the elevator. There was another floor that I never discovered. You wouldn't account for I've been in here. This is the same floor. Wait. No, it doesn't go up any higher. Despite, despite having enough fun. Well, okay, I'm confused. I don't think it looks from the outside like it had another floor. We can see the out the roofs there. Is that just for show? It certainly looks like it's got another floor. That's 
Anything? Anyway, we've got the four things. The problem is, I don't know when that timer starts. We've got to be pushing it close to the ten minutes now, I think. So we just wait here until they reset. It seems extremely boring, but probably the right thing to do. That's the one that set off the alarm on me before. Oh, there's a light switch there. Let's go, let's go turn that light off. Ah, uh -huh. well, maybe there's more light switches I missed. Or maybe not. Makes it dark here at least. <laughs> We've got the four gears. You know what? I might just end the episode here and then restart it once the timer runs out. I think that's probably the way to go. So. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you here for the next episode.